Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Since cropping is something we do all the time, let's see how we can be more productive with these three tips. The first tip is an easy one. I'll press the C in order to select the crop tool. And while most people go directly for the crop marquee handles in order to change the crop, you should know that when you first select the crop tool, you can just click and drag anywhere in the image in order to set the crop marquee. All right, let's tap escape. Now, the second technique is really useful if you find yourself in a situation where you know that you're going to need to crop to a specific aspect ratio, but you want the added flexibility of being able to access the cropped information that will then be sitting beyond the canvas. So to choose our aspect ratio, I'll select four by five from the list, but I actually want it to be five by four, so I'll tap the X key and then reposition the crop. Now, before applying the crop, I wanna make sure that I uncheck delete crop pixels. Then, when I apply the crop and we select the move tool, if I reposition the image, we can see that Photoshop has kept track of that information that's beyond the canvas. If I ever need to delete that information beyond the canvas, I can do a quick select all and then image crop. When I deselect and use the move tool now, we can see that there's no additional information beyond what's inside the canvas. And tip number three, if you ever need to crop two documents to the same size, using the crop tool can be far easier than using image size, especially if the images have different aspect ratios. Let's view both of these images and then I'll zoom them to the same percentage, in this case, 33.3%. I want these images to both be the same size and the image on the left is the size that I want. So I'll select the crop tool and then choose front image from the list. That places the width and height and resolution into the options bar. I can then select the other image by clicking on the tab, reposition the crop as desired and when I tap return or enter, those two images will be the exact same size. That's it for now. Talk to you soon.